Amazing day, friends, and welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron de los Reyes, and today we have a special test drive feature for you. And it's been a long while since we uh, drove a full electric vehicle, but this time it's from Kia. And this full electric vehicle uh, has one of the longest ranges, something like 500 to 800 kilometers on a full charge. This is something that is uh, really awesome for an electric vehicle because that means you can travel a long distance like uh, going from here to Baguio City and back. What's good about it is that uh, you can charge it while you are resting or while you are sleeping. Of course, it also has its own fast charger. This is a prototype of the Kia EV6, but it already has most if not all the features that are available in the regular commercial uh, unit. Kia EV6, the Korean car maker's iconic full electric vehicle, is bringing its long range zero emission power 800 volt, ultra fast charging, and distinctive styling to the local crossover SUV market. Debuted globally in late 2021, the electric prodigy was first seen at the 8th Philippine International Motor Show back in September last year. At the onset, the EV6 evokes a contrasting combination of sharp stylistic elements and sculptural shapes showcasing a human-oriented and progressive design. Welcome back to Auto Review and on our test drive and walk around, we feature the Kia EV6 and uh, this is one of the most exciting uh, vehicles or one of the most interesting vehicles to come out in this age of uh, electric vehicles. This is a full electric uh, vehicle from Kia Motors. If you notice, it has a unique design and the hood itself is very attractive. It's a clam shell uh, design. You have a narrow grill over here and another grill at the bottom. You have the daytime running lights right here. So from a distance, you will be easily noticed. It looks very modern and it looks friendly, which actually it is because uh, it is environment uh, friendly. All right, uh, if we go to the sides, you will notice this huge tire, 20 inches, and also a corresponding mag. No handles, but this is very easy to open there and then you pull and then you close this is the remote key for the Kia EV6 and uh, the controls are right here on the side for unlocking and then for locking over here and then uh, to also open the rear it's all here if you leave the key inside the doors will not uh, lock automatically almost everything is here for you to be able to operate uh, the vehicle. So you have this uh, free-flowing design for the EV6 which is characteristic of uh, most Kia cars. So the design goes up to here and then you make around and continues right here. And when, when uh, the engine is on and the lights are on, you will see this whole stretch in red. But when you step on the brakes or you make the turn signals, these two illuminate very visibly from the rear. There's a spoiler which actually doesn't look like a spoiler because it's 
it's like uh, being part of the whole design. There's also a shark spin antenna. So from uh, the exterior alone, you see that uh, this is a very special vehicle and uh, high tech and uh, it has a very good uh, design. You press that button underneath and uh, you open the baggage uh, compartment. And you use this area also for placing some, some items. There is also a tunnel uh, cover. There it is. What's nice about this is that uh, you also have uh, LED lights at the top. Closing this, just have to press it. All right, we had a briefing earlier, a big part of uh, the motor compartment is really composed of uh, the battery, the 12 volt battery, and then you lift this up, and this is another container. And then you pull out this uh, charging cable, and you also have here the mobility kit because this car doesn't have a spare tire. You have inflator over here, and also a uh, a cable and some tools. So let's close it. You plug this in just like that. And then you have another charger uh, which we saw earlier at uh, BGC. So we're just demonstrating here how uh, this, this works. So as of now, it's considered still a full, a full charge. You have four bars uh, right here. Taking this out is easy there like that and then close it just like that the EV6 GT line offers a full electric zero emission powertrain configuration with a long range or 77.4 kilowatt hours high voltage battery pack the EV6 can travel more than 500 kilometers on a single charge The battery pack is paired with a 168 kilowatt or 228 horsepower electric motor powering the rear wheels. The EV6 offers class leading levels of safety and convenience thanks to its enhanced suite of advanced driver assistance systems or ADAS. All right, inside it looks complicated, but once you get used to uh, using the EV6, you will say, wow, this is a very practical and uh, very functional car. So on the steering wheel, you have this leather cover, they're quite soft. There's also a heater for uh, the steering wheel, which I think in the Philippines we will not I'll be able to use but the heater for the front seats are fine because uh, in the morning when you start using the car it's nice to have a warm uh, feeling uh, at the back and also at, at the bottom that's uh, very relaxing too and uh, you have controls here for uh, the, the side mirrors for adjusting and then these are the shifters rotary uh, shifter here now we're on parked but if you want to go on a reverse there and uh, you get a 360 degree uh, monitor. If you want to go drive, you also get some, some pictures. This is uh, very useful and it adds a lot to the safety of uh, the vehicle and the person uh, driving it. So I put it on park again and there's the letter P, and also get an information about the remaining power. So over here, since we started using it at 100%, now we're down to 92%. So we only used up about 8% uh, of uh, the power, and I still have a range of 427 uh, kilometers. Now I have this uh, floating console, which looks very nice. There's also a general storage for your other uh, stuff and also you have wireless uh, charger right here 
two cup holders or bottle holders. This is also very interesting, this uh, bar over here, because if I touch this arrow, then I can choose uh, the service that I like, like uh, the phone or uh, the truck, a radio, and other media. For the driver, it's very easy to operate. And if I want to adjust my air conditioning, I just have to push this or press it. Now it's on 17 degrees. All right, there's also a large uh, tray underneath uh, this uh, console. Big space right here. And then you have USB port and also an adapter for 12 volts. You have uh, the one press sunroof. All you need is uh, just one press or one pull and then it opens up. And also if you want to close it, also one click. And the whole thing, the whole setup uh, closes, including this cover. I didn't notice this, but uh, this is a different uh, design for the headrest. Oh, very comfortable. And I think it is also adjustable, yes. You can adjust it uh, to uh, fit your head. You have to get used to mentioning uh, the name of uh, the electric vehicle because there, there will be a lot of uh, EVs coming up, especially this 2023. So this one is the Kia EV6. And I understand uh, they use vegan leather in almost all parts of uh, the vehicle. I like it because it's very comfortable. The backrest actually uh, gives you a feeling of being embraced. So this is just a preview of the Kia EV6, which promises to be one of the best uh, electric vehicles in the country. And uh, they have been uh, selling it in uh, Korea and in uh, other parts of the world. This is the first time for me to uh, drive a car that uh, gives you options on what sound to hear. Like uh, uh, if you want to listen to sounds of nature, you just have to press this like the forest. I hope you hear that. And then if you want the sound of uh, the sea, press this. Wow, isn't that uh, wonderful? Lakas na if you want to listen to the sound of the rain, there it is. Very nice, huh? Very relaxing. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. If you notice the flooring of this vehicle, there's no hump in the middle. Because underneath the, the platform, is uh, the lithium uh, set of uh, lithium batteries that's why this is very flat it will be very comfortable at the back when we try it there's a lot of room uh, here at the rear it feels so cozy if the owner has a driver i think this will be his favorite part of uh, of the car you also have the armrest you can put your coffee cups or your bottles and if you're not using this tray for the cups you can pull it back and maybe put your uh, telephone uh, right here of course you have the safety belt what's good about this is that even if you're seated in the middle you'll be fine because there's no hump you can move your 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 feet there's also a three-point uh, seat belt for the middle passenger so there's also a button here for the cabin light very nice because it's uh, LED there's a vent on the right small vent but actually quite powerful and also on the left side so this is uh, a very cool SUV something you'd like to own sometime in the future no worries about long distance drives because this has a uh, range of from 500 to 800 kilometers on a full charge.
Right, uh, we're on the Calayan flyover, headed uh, towards uh, Il Puyat. And uh, we're driving this uh, beautiful full electric uh, vehicle from uh, Kia, the EB6. Very quiet ride. I, I still cannot believe that after seeing this displayed at the Philippine International Motor Show, now I have a chance to uh, drive it. I think uh, this is a very promising uh, electric vehicle because of the long range that it can offer to motorists. It's so quiet, uh, you need the simulation of uh, the sound of the engine to uh, make you feel that uh, you are driving a regular car. So this uh, car, is, uh, we were told, uh, has a maximum speed of 188 kilometers per hour. They haven't finalized uh, the price uh, for this car because this is, of course, a, a prototype. But when the real commercial uh, model uh, comes out, they will have a price for it. I understand the price will be below 4 million uh, pesos for this whole uh, package. All right, before I go, if you enjoyed the uh, viewing, or listening to us, I'd like to invite you to like and uh, subscribe our YouTube channel. Where we also have uh, our reviews of uh, different vehicles in the past. It's called Auto Review Philippines. We would appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Auto Review will be back. Stay with us. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we would like to thank Kia Philippines for providing us this full electric vehicle, the Kia EV6. It's an awesome experience driving this full electric vehicle. And I wish that uh, more of this kind of vehicle will come into the country. And uh, Kia will make it available soon. So watch out for it. Until next week at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron de los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po. Kamsaham nida. This has been another Auto Review feature. Thank you for watching.